I guess we can walk down here. We can actually see it come in through the system. But so all of it starts here? Pretty much. There's another line that runs under the ground over here you can't see. So you oh. really have the west side interceptor and the east side. Oh, I've heard about these interceptors. Yeah, so it's yeah. west, east, and then you kind of have the short creek. Okay. South run comes in that direction. Um, and you can see, I don't know, they don't look the same. Yeah. Um, it can be helpful as an operator sometimes. So if you see something odd, you kind of at least know where to start looking. Like if you suspect an industry or something has done something odd, you can you can go, well, it has to be on the west side. You know, I see it coming out of this pipe. Yeah. So then it, it kind of cuts down the town in half. So you kind of go start investigating. So I said 36 is the peak flow, but we realistically have only seen like 24, 27 in that ballpark okay. as a peak flow for the last at least a decade, maybe 15 years. So part of the, the upgrade is to bring the plant back up to its rated capacity. Okay. Um, so the water comes in here and then it looks like it goes under the road? It does. So it comes in and then you really have what they break down. They go, they have preliminary treatment, primary treatment, and secondary treatment. We okay. are a facility that also has tertiary treatment. But, so this is just coming in. This is just the collection. The way it's designed, the sewers are designed to flow at two meters per second. Okay. And that keeps everything suspended so it'll travel all the way to your facility. Ah, so you don't get sediment. So you don't okay. get sediment. It's, it's t the typical design. Now, what we're going to go into next is the worst building on the tour. Um, so, <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yeah, we'll get it out of the way real quick. But it's uh, this is a uh, preliminary treatment. So what this is going to do is it's uh, some screens that filter out trash. So like things okay. that, I said this is a biological process. So a piece of plastic trash that comes in yep. is not going to get broken down in here. Nope. So it's a screen that pulls that out, drops it into a chute that we then take to the landfill. Okay. And then post the screening, it comes into like these small vortex chambers, which are grit chambers. So what that does is slow the flow down to about one meter per second. Okay. And that will allow like cinder and, and just ah. detritus that is not really breaking down either, but heavy stuff like that, gravel, things like that, it'll settle and it also will get taken to the landfill. Okay. Um, so that's what's preliminary treatment. Um, oh my gosh, it does it will take your breath away. Yeah. It's, it's very pungent. So you can kind of see the way this works. You see some trash on that screen. Yeah. Is it's built on a differential pressure. So as things start to collect on the screen, it backs up water here. Okay. So it's made on the differential on the back side. So when they get to be a foot uh, apart, the screen will automatically kick on. And you see how the rakes roll up and they yeah. carry trash up. Goes to an auger, drops them to a bin. Ah, you guys right. good with this? Yeah. Well, let's we're good. go back up. <laughs> I don't think I hear anything. We will look at the uh, the grit thing from the other side. So then the water, it, this is like a, a reminds me of that, that ride at Disneyland, that log ride, <laughs> where you're like sitting in it and you're like going through. Yeah. So the water comes in, goes through this building, and now all yeah. the big stuff's out and now we're in the here? trash is out so this is the actual grit vortexes oh okay so okay. it drops out goes into a pump and then comes up that chute i showed you inside okay, the okay okay um but yeah, that's how it works you saw how narrow the channel is yeah you've, you've widened the section out that's yeah. why it goes slower i mean got it that's essentially all that's happening here it's a it's a physical process at this stage and so is primary treatment once we go so this is preliminary so there's no by physical you're saying there's no chemicals added it's just allowing and there's not even biological process okay. it's just it's literally just, just slowing gravity. it down and let specific okay. gravity of different weights of different things get pulled out or like a physical trash screen got it on the front so cool oh yeah okay yeah so it's only oh i see okay so now now where does it go um so it's going to come and basically runs through a long pipe. Uh, we'll walk over there. Okay. Easier. This building? It goes under this building. Right? Okay. But it, it runs through a pipe to the primary pump building. Um, so again, we did preliminary treatment. Now we're going to go to primary treatment. Primary okay. treatment um, consists of sedimentation tanks or clarifiers. These are the rectangular ones. And up top on the hill, you'll see circular ones. Okay. We primarily use the circular ones. These are the older ones that they're used for when the, when the flow gets really high, they open up to absorb, you know, because again, we're still trying to c control the speed of the flow. Yeah. So you open up more tanks as you get more flow to try to get that same speed. So really what's happening as it comes in is we're doing two things. All pollutants we're kind of turning into a solid, okay. which will go to anaerobic digestion, and then we'll get um, land applied to farm fields. 
Okay. And then you have the water trail, which the water just keeps getting cleaner. As we pull pollutants out and turn them into solids, the water gets cleaner, 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 and goes to the river. Yep. So as we go through, if I say solids come off or things we settle out, that is where that they're going to go. There. Besides, yes. So okay. from here on now, preliminary treatment goes to the trash. We can't treat that. Got but it. here, it goes over there. And the anaerobic digesters, uh, it's a, a process where it stabilizes or oxidizes the waste down to a level where it's uh, considered non-harmful. Um, okay. Um, so we'll go look at a working tank. Take a peek at this. So the way this works is the water comes in, it's pumped up into the center of this well, and then it slowly radiates out. And that's where your flow slows down. And the solids will settle to the bottom, some of it will float to the top. That's what this arm is doing. It rakes the stuff on the top that's floated over to this scum box. So it's collected as a solid here. And on the bottom of the tank, there's a, a pipe so that it opens up on timers and things of that nature. And the solids that have settled will go off. And all that goes to the ah. digesters. And then the water, you see it kind of flowing over these uh, yeah. notches on the outside edge. And that's the water. And so it's 30%, 50%-ish cleaner than it was that's coming the clean, in at this point. The clean water, the stuff that's been purified is flowing over. Yes, exactly. The stuff that's still settling is still in the walls. Exactly. All right, so again, we have four of these up here and the seven rectangulars. These are all the primary clarif clarifiers. And all primary treatment is, is yeah, that physical process of slowing it down one more step. But now you're looking at settling organics or floating organics. Got it. So, all right, now we'll go see the secondary treatment. Okay, so biological treatment is the, or the secondary process is really two stages. So the primary was just clarification. Yep. The secondary process is the biological treatment and then the, a, clarif a clarification process post the biological treatment process. So what's coming down to here now is the, the dissolved solids or dissolved pollutants, if you will. So the solids, when you, the, so it's the solids that are getting, this is on their way to the, the, the tubs, the tanks? This is, well, this is, so what happens here, so the water that came off of those, uh -huh. that it was kind of gray, but it's still 30 to 50% cleaner than it was coming in. Yep. That water comes to here. So this is the water. This is the water. Okay. But now, you, if you look at it, you go, that looks dirty. It looks dirtier. really dirty. The reason is, is this is the biological process. Ah. This is full of all the, the bacteria and the microorganisms that are going to eat that dissolved. Okay. The dissolved pollutants. And as they eat it, they form flocks. So the bacteria and the microorganisms will then clump together after they've digested the solids and they get heavy clumped together and then they will settle down. So, so like having a party and then they they like exactly. get tired and then so it couldn't come out there because it was dissolved Got so they it. eat it so it's no longer dissolved but they form a heavy enough flock that they will settle in the next set of clarification oh. this is an aerobic process which i call a narration tank so this yeah. is a uh, uh, aerobically yeah it's yeah. aerobically oxidizing the waste at this point oh. Um, so the air both mixes it and supplies the oxygen yeah. for the aerobic process. Okay. So is this the water coming through here and then another like di here. distribution? Yes. So the water that came off these is running in that, that second channel right there. And it's okay. gonna, it just basically comes off of each one of these in turn. You see them kicking off yep. at these grates. It'll run all the way down here and it'll take a 90 and go underneath to a pipe that will distribute this exact same water you're seeing right here to these clarifiers out here. So the second part of the secondary treatment. But yeah, you can take a look over the edge. Um, so you still see there's gonna be some floaters that come up to the top that get scraped off, but you can see how much cleaner kind yeah. of at the edge, but. That's amazing. So this water has one more process and then and then we're then it goes back out to a river yeah we'll see where it goes okay. to the river um we'll I take can't a, believe how clear that is that's crazy yeah and it only gets cleaner so but uh we'll stay we'll, we'll take a peek in it'll be loud but we can look in okay. to see the blowers um and then we'll go see the the tertiary part of the system uh so yeah these are the two 800s the smaller 500 units down there so it's compressed there so pulls air from the atmosphere compresses it it out to the and this is what's making those bubbles? Yes. Got it, okay. So you can kind of see here, um, the way it works is the flow then out of those clarifiers we just saw where it's a lot cleaner, the secondary clarifiers. Yep. Comes to this building and it's pumped into this channel you see in the middle. Yep. The water comes into the channel, flows out, and there's sand bed underneath it, like a four foot deep sand bed. Like which, four feet of sand? Four feet wow. deep of sand. Wow, wow. Um, the water trickles through that and it polishes it. Um, 
and then it's collected and I'll show you the process where it goes. It's all collects in a pipe and goes down the end of the building because, yeah, so this one is, uh, if you guys want to step out, you can see it from here. That one's cleaned. Or good. <gasps> it's, oh, cool. Yeah, so <gasps> it's waiting to be used so you can see the sand. So it's not very, the water's not very deep over the sand because this, the water essentially, the idea is the water is permeating the sand. So exactly. that depth is really extending beyond that surface of the mm -hmm. sand. Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And what river is this? This is the East Fork okay. of the Whitewater River. I knew that. Now, what confused a lot, the West Fork runs through like Connorsville. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So what does an average day look like for you? It just depends. I so don't you know. don't have it, you don't have a normal day. No, there's no such You just every day is just a little bit yeah. different. And I hate quoting like <laughs> any kind of quotes, but I, I don't know who did it, but it was something like wastewater is one of the very few processes where you can't control what comes in, but you have to control what goes out. Ah, that's nice. So what does an average day look like for you? Camera is right there. <laughs> <laughs>